Alton uh, outskirts. And uh, I guess to tell a story where the sign came from, it came sort of in a couple of, it's kind of an interesting way this one happened. There's an outskirt, there's a town on the outskirts of Grand Falls, Windsor, called Bishop Falls. Anybody been there? Yep. What? Okay, two people. <laughs> <laughs> and so I was down to the, they have this, uh, they call it the uh, Brothers Softball Tournament. It's in honor of a person passed away and they do this memorial tournament. So they asked me to donate a PA, I own a PA company, so they asked me to donate a PA, so I did. So I come down on Sunday, it started on Friday, I come down Saturday night, I think myself and you were coming back from a gig, and we stopped in Bishop Falls at the Irving, and I seen this guy in a pickup truck, and he had it loaded with beer and ice. And that was the last of the beer that was in central Newfoundland. That's how much these people could drink. I mean, it was unbelievable. But the one thing I seen when I went down, and I was kind of inspired by it, was like how close they were that they were doing this for a good cause, and it was just a friendship and camaraderie that was just there with the community. So I did that, and I had it, you know, had a, a, done the demo for it, and I sent it to Clint. Myself and Charlotte just happened to be over doing vocals, and it was, so we started sitting down and playing the song. And Clint said, well, you know, he said, it sounds good, but he said, your chorus sounds like a pre-chorus. What do you mean? So with that, I said, okay, I kind of see what you're saying. And we started working on it, and Charlotte came in. It came as sort of a three of us wrote it. And at the same time, we were doing this, uh, somebody wanted me to write a song for a call, what was called a shift project. And the shift project was uh, to help people with addictions, which is, uh, I imagine, is a big problem in St. John's, it's a big problem in Grand Falls, Windsor, and you see people's lives being just, you know, absolutely destroyed by it. So the idea about that, that they had was to sort of counsel people and sort of make a community, make a supportive community, because what the guy was saying is organizing it, said that there's a lot of, uh, they need support more than you need anything else. It's, it's, you, you don't know until you're in it yourself. And he was a, re a recovering addictive person. And they said, you know, this is what happened. So I kind of wrote this, the chorus that you're gonna hear. Charlotte Carey is gonna sing the chorus and she knocks it out of the park and tell you. Uh, and it's sort of, that talks about that stuff. But it's not, uh, it, it's not meant to be negative, it's meant to, hey, look inside yourselves and uh, you know, you've got the strength inside to beat whatever you've got. So this is gonna be the first time I played this song as an acoustic thing. We usually got the big fat band behind us. Not that the band members are fat, I think it is a good band, it's just the same. Uh, so let's give it a try.
Thank you very much. Shout out to you.